I walk outside every day in fear of white supremacy right here in the middle of the hood. Okay, yeah, right. I never seen a white supremacy in my life. Never, and they can't point to one. Where the hell are they? I wish somebody would introduce me to a white supremacist. I would like to talk to them and take pictures with them because i never seen one in my life. It never ceases to amaze me how expert the Democrat community is at race baiting. And joining me now is the director and creator of Systematic Deception, also the owner of X's in the Sky Films, Frank Panico. And Frank, Welcome to the program. So tell us about your documentary and what you learned that you might not have known going in. Yes, thanks for having me, Logan. Um, the documentary um, all started when a woman called me. Her name is Linnell Babbage, and um, she's a black woman. And she said, you know, I would love to do a film that exposes the lies that the Democrats have thrust upon the black community to keep them in their party. And uh, she also wanted it to be somewhat based on her daughter's book. So I read the book, and uh, it's called uh, The Black History Bible. And it all just started rolling from there. And it incorporates uh, very much the, the deceitful tactics of the Democratic Party. Um, you know, they were the party of uh, the KKK. They're the ones that founded it. The same with Jim Crow. Um, they're the ones that are asking, you know, pretending to reach across the aisle and want, um, you know, peace and love and harmony, but they're the ones that are sowing division. Anytime someone, you know, a white person kills someone, uh, they just blow it up. So it very much just expo exposes the hypocrisy of the Democratic Party in many ways through, uh, they support the critical race theory, they support the Black Lives Matter. One thing that comes out through the film is, um, everyone in my film is, is black. And um, it, it, they urge others, as well as themselves, to run for office, you know, to change our America, to change um, our nation. Like uh, Latresa Jones, she's running in District 10 in Florida. And then we've got uh, Jerome Bell, who's running for District 2 in uh, Virginia Beach. And there's uh, Chuck, Chuck Smith, who's uh, running for a congressional seat in uh, 2024. So all these righteous people running for office and urging other people to run for office. And um, we also learned about one of the ways that the community has, black community has suffered was, um, you know, after the death of uh, Kennedy, LBJ came into office and the welfare system started. And, you know, they were saying, hey, you don't, you know, don't rely on yourself. We'll give you money. If you kick dad out of the home, we'll give you more money. You have a kid, we'll kick more money. And then um, they also um, placed abortion clinics in black neighborhoods. Um, Hillary Clinton supports uh, Margaret Sanger. Um, the, the whole party, it it's, it's really goes for the jugular of the Democratic Party and explains to the black community and the world why they should turn their back on the Democratic Party. Now, Frank, what challenges did you face when creating this film? Um, well, it went really pretty smooth. Um, uh, because the black community, they were so welcoming to me, and especially because they were, uh, you know, conservative Christians. They were all very welcoming to me. Um, there was just an array of different people. I have, like, 20 different interviewees in the film. And um, one thing that's important that I bring up in the film that I really need to mention is that the, the more we expel God from our nation, the worse things get. And the more we welcome him back into our nation, the better things get. So I definitely want to thank God for um, all the glory. But um, there's a spiritual warfare going on. It touches base a little bit on that. And um, it's, it's an excellent film. People are really liking it. Um, but I mean, there are there were challenges, but when you're doing something you love, it doesn't really seem like there's challenges. Um, but, uh, you know, I had to go to different places. Uh, I had to go to Texas and uh, West Virginia, Florida, Georgia. I went all over the place to film this. It took like eight months. Um, and I'm, I'm so happy with it. The Holy Spirit just guided me through the whole thing, and all the glory goes to God. And uh, I think people really love it. I really think it'll sway the vote, like, in favor of Republicans. It should spread like wildfire. Not that we need any help, because uh, Biden is absolute disaster. But when people see this film, they're going to realize that, you know, he is a racist. So I'm going to call it what it is, you know. Well, Frank Panico, thank you so much. And folks, make sure you tune in this Sunday night for Systematic Deception, which will be airing right here on Newsmax. Again, Frank's, Frank, thank you for your time. Thank you very th much.